This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Long Bed Dually. It's a uh, King Ranch. It's four-wheel drive. It's got the FX4 off-road suspension package. It has 127,617 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Las Vegas. You'll see the before pictures. It's on the ground. They stole the wheels off it. That's pretty much all they did to it. They stole the wheels off it. So we had to get it off the ground. We bought some brand new wheels and tires for it. We bulletproofed it, which means we gave it a new bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, IPR, gaskets, fluids, coolant, oil, filter, everything. Um, just because it's a badass truck, all right? And so we thought we'd give it the whole treatment. I'm wearing a glove because I'm gonna take off the oil cap in a minute. So you can see blow by or no blow by because it doesn't have any and demo that for you anyway my guys say runs and drives great bulletproofed uh new wheels and tires um after detail oh yeah after detail we didn't like seepage from the oil cooler also the oil cooler had a little bit of seepage and we're like you know what let's just do the bulletproofing if we're gonna do the oil cooler we might as well do the whole thing so that's how we ended up with the bulletproof um let's see ba -ba new wheels and tires we also uh did an ignition and a driver door handle and lock cylinder we had to get the door handle painted to match obviously um driver door handle let's see what else passenger tail lights new batteries are new right rear uh brake line brake hose is new right rear brake hose is new okay i'm gonna walk around here i'm gonna show you this truck uh then i'm gonna take it on the ride i'm also gonna show you the Carfax, the Kelly Blue Book. Like I said, brand new tires. We gave this thing the treatment because it's pretty badass. Uh, there's stuff like this. I'm going to point to this stuff. In the gallery, if you want to see the cosmetic stuff up close, uh, just drag that little uh, magnifying glass over it. There's a little dent right here. Um, glad that uh, drag that micro, uh, that little telescope, whatever they call it, microscope, or what do they call it? Little deal, whatever. I'm freaking hot right now. It's like 115. I can't believe I'm going to do this video on this heat, but I am. <laughs> anyway, drag that thing over the picture and click on it. You can zoom in on whatever you see so there's no surprises, okay? Um, well, this is a good looking truck. I do know that it had a power rear sliding window and now uh, the previous owner probably got tired of it going so slow because they kind of all do. Um, and he put a manual slider in there. So it doesn't have a power slider anymore. It's got a manual slider Here Use a bed liner That'd be about 150 bucks Something Here A little bit of a scuff here, but they didn't break the uh, fender which is cool because everyone does those at the uh, drive-thru Pretty rare for us to spend money on six tires on a dually, but this one kind of earned it. Nice truck. All right, I'm gonna fire this guy up. Hundred twenty-seven thousand six hundred twenty-nine miles. Okay. I've already pre-opened the oil cap because it's so damn hot. Even these gloves uh, aren't very helpful. There you go. Wow, that's hot. Woo! Ford stamp there. Ford stamp here. Ford stamp here. And no Ford stamp here. So that means that this fender at some point has been replaced. Otherwise, there would be a Ford stamp there. We did not do that. So the previous owner probably did that for whatever reason. Looks good, but it isn't the original fender. Okay. Seats, back, forward, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, this seat up and down. While I'm here, I'm going to show you the Kelly Blue Book. King Ranch with an 8-foot bed. 
deep. Get this glove off so I can touch the screen here. Eight foot bed, blah, blah, blah. Retail book is $20,812. With all that equipment, the equipment will be in the ad. So uh, just go there, you don't have to stop the video. All right, here's the Carfax. There's the VIN. Salvage title due to theft. There's the date of the Carfax. That's today. This truck is not gonna be around long. Bulletproof, pretty King Ranch. It's always in Vegas, so you don't have the rust issue to worry about. It's a Vegas truck. They don't have water in Vegas. This is when it got wheels, it looks like. And that's why they probably stole it. And ba -ba 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 -ba. more Vegas stuff. And then you got stolen on 415 and recovered four days later. And because it was on the ground, that's probably why the owner didn't want it back. Um, it's fine underneath, no damage at all. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So it's a Geico truck. And then there's our current title right now. This will be in the ad, you can click on that also. All right, seats look like they're in pretty good shape. Actually, really good shape. Window, that's the passenger rear window. Make sure there's no surprises here. Like I said, this is now a manual window, right? So you gotta unclick that and push it down, right? Like that. So the power switch is no longer in effect. Good news is it's only, I don't know, 115 today and next week it'll be 117. So it's kind of cool today. Jesus, it is blazing today. We sold this exact truck with this exact miles, salvage theft about, I don't know, 20 or 30 times. This is a nice one. Forward, back, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up down seat works fine this seat's in really good shape if you like them to be a little bit darker color then you just go get some saddle soap and some conditioner and clean them up a little bit and then they get darker but they take about an hour a piece to to saddle soap and condition uh, which is kind of a, a lot let me run a service check on this thing real quick for you moving this thing so we can test the four-wheel drive and everything. I guess it wants my seatbelt on, right? There you go. All right, so the check is complete. Seatbelt is going on, so we don't have to listen to that. And, all right. So the air is blowing ice cold, which is a great thing because it has to today. Um, let's try the steering controls for the air. Fan down, fan up. Temperature up, temperature down. Those controls up and down. Temperature up, temperature down. So your trailer stuff, let's see. Like I said, this is disconnected now because we have a manual. This is tow on and off. I'm doing that with my thumb. That's on and off. All right, I'm in uh, neutral now. I'm gonna put it in four low. There's four low. I'm in drive. Uh, that's definitely four low, and that is granny here, four low. And we're in reverse and four low. It's a big boy. I like this truck. All right, now we're gonna go to, gonna go to two wheel drive or four wheel high. I'm sorry. So now we're in four wheel high. Right? Drive, bang, and reverse. All right, neutral, two wheel drive. Let's go to check the moon off. That's moving good too. They're expensive to fix, so when they move fast, that's a good sign. 
All right, let's see what else. Um, radio. So it works from the steering wheel and from the uh, deck itself. All right, we're gonna go for a ride. This truck's on a salvage title. If you come to your side and drive it home, which you're welcome to do. Um, you will pay. You you have to get plates and insurance. Obviously, you can get neither on a salvage title. We have to take it to the police here and get what's called a level three inspection. That level three inspection we charge two hundred dollars to do. Ties up our guys for about six hours. That's why, uh, and it's mandatory if you want to drive it home. Once we get that done, uh, we take the level three and the current salvage title in and get what's called the restored salvage title. Then you can call your insurance guy and get insurance and we can issue you drive away plates. Okay? So that's obviously mandatory. That's $200. Then we have uh, a dock fee of $250 and then of course we have taxes. Taxes are 2.5% city tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is. 5% you'll pay 7.5%. If it's 2%, you'll pay 4.5%. Pretty simple, okay? Um, blah, 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 what else? So basically, let's do the math. If, you drive, if you're gonna drive it home, you're gonna pay your state plus our city of 2.5%, $250 dock fee, and 200 to restore the title. Uh, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price unless you check the box to have us restore the title before it ships out. And then we'll get you a restored salvage title, get it restored before it ships out, and we'll mail you that. If you're going to ship, uh, once we receive your wire uh, for full payment of the truck, we will um, fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, and we will uh, scan that in. We'll fill it out, scan it in, and to your online file, and then we'll mail it to you. We even uh, scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in. So you'll be able to see it immediately. Obviously, you'll receive it in the mail probably before you have the truck shipped to you. Once you have the truck shipped to you, you'll take the um, the, the mail that you already got, the title you already got in the mail, and you go to Motor Vehicles and get, get plates. It's really, really easy. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's about it. Um, blah, blah, blah. What else? Oh, warranty speech, duh. This is a 127,000 mile, 11 year old truck, soon to be 12 year old truck, all right? There is no warranty. If something breaks the day you get it, you're going to fix it. It's a nice truck, but we're not Nostradamus. We don't know when things are gonna break and when they're not gonna break, okay? So please realize that. Please understand that we can't sell it to you at the prices we're selling it to you and write you checks for everything that breaks or anything that breaks. So if you don't like that, if you realize that, hey, you know, if it shows up and it's not running right for whatever reason, because it's used, um, you know, I'm going to want to check. Please don't buy from us. We're going to do the bulletproof on it, or we did the bulletproof on it, and then we're going to uh, sell it to you, and you're going to own your truck. The day you get it is the day you're owner. You're the owner. And we don't want any misunderstandings here. That's why we have this speech at the end of every video. Please watch our videos here, okay? All the videos on our vehicles, I say the same thing at the end. Um, just because I want to make sure that the right person buys it, okay? If we get a baby that buys it, then we got a problem, okay? Because this truck will break, we just don't know when. It could be tomorrow or it could be in 10 years, okay? Um, and if it breaks tomorrow, it's no different than if it breaks in 10 years. We're not writing a check, all right? Um, anyway, that's my tough love speech. Uh, really nice truck, uh, bulletproofed, uh, new tires and wheels and uh, pretty impressive. I think uh, whoever buys this thing is gonna like it a lot. And that's about it. I'm gonna find a place to park this guy so no one hurts it. And that's that. Anyway, uh, have a great weekend.